Hello, it's Morgan Studios, and today we're going to be talking about fret noise, muting strings. Two things that I've encountered when I play single notes, there's a background like hum that's caused by strings just vibrating. And if you've ever done this, if you've ever had, um, let me see, I'm going to try to draw an amp here. Okay, you have an amp. And then you have your uh, your guitar just sitting, just laying up on it, right? Like that, and it's on, right? If you just leave it, you just don't play it. Just lay it there, go get a sandwich. When you come back, it may start going, it'll start making a noise because the sound waves, the little noise, it's hitting the strings and causing them to vibrate. Okay? That's called sympathetic vibration. Sympathetic vibration. Let's abbreviate. All right? So, to not have this in your recording, you can either, I've seen people go, they put a little, like Jens Larson, he puts a little, it looks like a headband around his neck. And I think that's what that's for, to uh, kind of mute the strings. Or, like rockers do, I don't see why I'm not drawing this correctly. Okay, it's so not rockers do, they just use their fingers, right? They just use their fingers to mute the strings. And you can use like your palm, like what they call palm muting. You can mute with your palm. Okay. But, okay, that's one way. That's method one to take out the muting, the, the, the fret noise, the ringing of your strings when you don't want them to. Usually playing single notes. If you have it distorted in a guitar, all those frequencies in that loud, like this action here is make your other strings ring. Okay, but then you can do that. This is number one. I guess this is one and two. So this is one. Use that to combat it. Number two, use your fingers. Mute on the fretboard or use your palm. Mute on the, the bridge there. Which is uh, with your this is left hand, right? And the right hand. Left hand or right hand muting, palm muting. And then the other way. If you have a computer, okay, and you have your headphones, right, you can play your instrument, play your guitar through your headphones, right? You have some type of, this is just notes, I'll have to redo this at another time. I just wanted to get the idea down. So... Okay, so you have your computer plugged into your little program or whatever to, for your amps and your effects, all that stuff. And then you're recording it, right? The sound is very tiny inside your headphones. So it can't get to, it can't get to your strings so you don't have as much ringing, right? So I'm thinking... When you play live, you have the sound with the actual sound waves coming from that amplified amplifier, amplified amplifier, going to your strings and causing sympathetic vibration. Or you just have the strings themselves, right? These strings can be vibrating. And then they actually cause your other strings. You're not doing anything. But just the sound from the other strings uh, will cause the other strings to just ring out when they don't want to. So that's like sympathetic vibration too, right? Just the strings themselves. You have one pair of strings vibrating and the other pair of strings are just kind of the sound waves are vibrating the other strings. And this sympathetic vibration uh, one, that's your amp. And it's just, and it's amplified, it's like a loop. Like I was saying at the beginning, if you just leave your guitar on like a 
turned up amp and you don't have your volume turned down on your guitar, it'll start saying, woo, 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 and you're wondering, where is that coming from? That's what it is. You went and got a sandwich, and this little feedback loop kept going while you were eating your sandwich, and you came back, and you left all your stuff on, and it just started, woo, 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 sympathetic vibration one. Anyway, that's it. I hope you learned something. I'll redo this one very in a better format. See you.